Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is running. Do you actually need to rest? You need rest days for running. Uh, I'm on a current 30-day in a row streak on running. I think that's probably a personal best for me. Uh, I've never run that many days in a row, and I'm on probably 35 or 36 out of the last 37. So the last 37 days I've missed one day, but I'm on 30 straight right now. And people keep saying to me that it's no good for me, that, that I'm going to hurt myself, that I'm going to get injured, that it's not good for my body. And uh, so it's really interesting to, to hear what people think. And my thing is like, well, a lot of people sit on the couch every day. That's bad for you, right? A lot of people walk every day. Why isn't walking every day bad for you? So it's just people's mindset where it's funny how society is programmed to think. You know, oh, you know, if you juice five apples and this and that and have a, a pound of greens a day, that's excessive and that's not good. But people have pizza every day and that's not good. So it's really just funny how our mind or how society has, has played with our mind to think that certain things just aren't good. I'm sorry, but running, running is extremely good for the human body. We are born to run, we're designed to run. Now, some people don't know how to run properly, and I know that may sound ridiculous to, to, the, to a novice or to a non-runner, but a lot of us aren't taught how to run, and we just assume that we know how to run because it should just be a natural movement for us. And of course, we go buy fancy shoes that have these support systems and running shoes. We pay 120 bucks for them, and and these are the shoes we need. And bam, of course, running, um, you know, to a certain extent is good, but not to an excessive extent. So the bottom line is, if you run properly, if you have proper form, and imagine this: imagine if you're jump roping. Imagine jump roping on your heels and landing on your heels every time. You're going to get injured. That's going to happen pretty quickly because you're just landing and pounding and pounding on your heel. And that's painful. You're going to probably jump rope for, I don't know, 30 seconds and say, this is uncomfortable. And if you did that every day for 30 seconds or a minute or two minutes like that, all of a sudden, you'd start to get aches and pains up your whole body, your knees, your back. Um, it, it would be, it'd be a disaster. Now imagine jump roping. Imagine a boxer, how boxers in the rings, they're all on their toes and they're prancing on their toes. Imagine jump roping on your toes. You're very light and it's just very springy and very natural and you're using your Achilles tendon, which is actually a shock absorber in your legs to basically give you bounce and, and absorb the shock. Now imagine running like that, okay? People are, when I explain this to people, people are like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that there was a proper way to run. And of course I go back to what I have these support shoes that are supposed to help me. I gotta be honest, support shoes are probably the worst thing for your, uh, for your running. Support shoes actually trick your body because they, they give you too much support, they give you arch support, they give you too much cushion, and you really don't feel the road. You don't feel enough on the road and the natural movement of your body, so it forces you to run wrong. So I prefer to run, uh, there's a big barefoot running movement that, that's sweeping across America, people running uh, barefoot or in minimalist shoes, and, and shoes that, that mimic uh, barefoot, that have no cushion, no support, um, zero drop or very minimal drop. Now, those shoes, and a lot of people that run in those shoes, I have a lot of friends that say, oh, I tried the middle shoe and that it just killed me. It killed me, it hurt. And that's because switching to a minimalist shoe from a full support shoe, you have to learn how to run differently. You have to learn how to jump rope differently. You have to learn how to, how the mechanics are different. So you're gonna be on your toes more, mid to toes more, and when you, when you, when you strike instead of your, your heels. See, you can, you can take full support shoes and strike in your heel and not feel it initially because it's all cushioned and padded and full of support. But if you start heel striking in a minimalist shoe, in a shoe without that support system, without the cushion, the padding, the arches, 
you're going to feel it right away. So you have to basically lean forward in your run, make sure you're prancing around, just like that boxer. Picture that boxer, okay? Wow, there's another bald eagle here. I've seen three bald eagles today, amazing. Saw a small one when I left my home this morning, just cruising right on over the street through the stream. It's amazing. I've never seen uh, three bald eagles in a day before. I saw two bald eagles uh, about a month or so, about a month ago. Saw two bald eagles dropping my son off skiing. Wow, amazing here in upstate New York. I can remember as a kid, not to get off topic, I can remember as a kid um, not seeing any bald eagles for years. And it's just amazing. I was always outside on my bike and out in nature. Now as an adult, uh, I see a, a bald eagle a month here in upstate New York. I'm not sure if there's a population explosion of bald eagles, if they're coming back or what exactly, or if I'm just maybe looking for more, I'm not really sure, but they're really such graceful animals. And I've seen several of them swoop down into the stream or into a lake and grab fish and like and fly off with the fish and actually eat the fish. It's been a, just, a, just a, a unique, uh, interesting, graceful experience to see these bald eagles, how they naturally just fly and swoop. So back to running, talking about being natural, so you're pounding your heels with these support shoes and you're not realizing it. And then a year down the road, five years down the road, all of a sudden you've got back problems. You've got knee problems. And all of a sudden you're, you're now you think because you know somebody or you personally have these problems and now you think that, oh, all runners are gonna get injured. All runners, that's not good for you. You're gonna break your body down. It's bad for your knees. And that's the way the society is taught. Marathons used to be one barefoot up until the 60s. I mean, it, Nike came out with this running shoe, this full support running shoe, late 60s, early 70s, whenever they came out with it, and it basically created a whole host of problems. It created a whole industry of a sports industry, in sports injury industry, uh, and it's just, it's amazing because it's basically tricked our bodies. When you see small kids that are one, two, two, three years old, four years old, and you watch them barefoot, it's amazing just how free they flow. And then all of a sudden you put them in shoes, at a certain age your shoes get support, and it's just everything goes downhill. My son, quick story about my son, my son's always been a barefoot minimalist. Loved Five Fingers, he's run half marathons in Five Fingers, he's done his best times in Five Fingers, all of his shoes he's always bought are very minimal support. We were trying on shoes last year, and uh, the guy who we went to just threw, he knows what he likes, threw a pair, threw, he said, go, Justin, try these shoes on. They were full support shoes. I said, now run around the store. I gotta tell you, my son, who is very athletic, very agile, uh, just a totally around, all around gifted ath athletic person, ran his first half marathon at six years old at 2.30. He put these full support shoes on and ran around the store and you could tell he was clumsy, totally like off on these shoes. The guy and I both looked at each other and said, "He's those shoes are definitely not for him. So, but people think just because they're buying a support shoe or a fancy shoe or a so-called running shoe, that that's what they need. And it's, it's, it's a shame that that's our mentality. So if you run properly, if you eat properly, proper diet, very high alkaline diet, very uh, low inflammatory diet, lots of liquids, lots of greens. And if you, proper diet and proper, proper running, proper form is a world of difference. So I'm on 30 straight days right now. Um, I know friends, I personally know people that have run 365 straight days. And of course, they might be just doing a couple miles a day, but they've gone the whole full calendar year running every single day. And then when you look at these massive endurance athletes um, that will run like coast to coast, that will run two, 3,000 miles, and they'll run every single day. They'll run a marathon a day, they'll run two marathons a day. It's insane, the Iron Cowboy just did 50 triathlons in 50 days straight. That means it's a 112 mile bike ride, a marathon, 26 miles, and then swimming, whatever the two and a half kilometers, three, whatever the swim is, two kilometers, three kilometers, every single day for 50 days as he put his body through that. Our bodies are very resilient. Our bodies are very um, uh, inclined.
inclined, built for this endurance. But if you're doing it wrong, you're gonna break your body down. That's the bottom line. Break your body down. It's gonna be painful, it's gonna be miserable. And then you're gonna tell everybody else how bad it is for them to do something like, do something good for their body. And you're convinced that that's not the way that the human body is designed. But yet, you look at people, back to the couch, you see people sitting on the couch every single day. I'm sorry, that's not how the human body was designed to sit on the couch. We're designed to move. You stop moving, you start dying. The human body wants to be put in movement, movement, movement. That's the bottom line. So my goal now is to run 43 straight days. This is my 43rd birthday this year. Uh, 43 straight days is my goal. My mindset is, okay, I used to go out for six miles a day and that was that was my mindset. Now my mindset is, hey, if I don't have time to run, at least I can sneak two miles in, which this week I did two days of two miles because I was traveling to Florida for a conference. You travel all day in a plane, you get off, you check into your hotel, you go to a meeting, and all of a sudden, where's the day gone, right? So there were two days this week, I only went out for two miles, but I still finished the week with 30 miles, 30 miles times 52 weeks is still a 1,500 mile year, which is an awesome year. My most miles I've ever ran is 2,000, and I broke 2,000 miles back in 2014. 2015, I did 1,200 miles or maybe a little more, about 1,200 miles. Yeah, 1,200 miles in it, almost 1,800 miles. So it was an off year uh, for me. But 30, you have to figure out what's manageable. What is a manageable thing for me to do? Even if I go out for one mile, it's still going out for one run. It's still a day of being active. It's a day of doing a run. It's a day of doing something positive for my body. So that's my new mindset. 43 straight days, who knows what'll happen after that. Uh, I love running, I'm sort of addicted to running, uh, and uh, you know, so um, I do wanna get on the bike more, I do like cycling, I love cycling, and I definitely wanna get on the bike and cycle more, so we'll see how that plays out this year. Maybe I can figure out, do maybe five days running, get my 30 miles in for the week, and then hit the bike one or two days. So that's, uh, that's what happens when you run every day. Uh, you improve your health, you improve your body, so I used to have bad pains in my knees and I, because that's because I had full support shoes. I went and saw somebody who was qualified. You can't go to a big box store and expect to get good advice. I went to a qualified person who knows what he's talking about and within one day, one new pair of shoes, my pains were totally, totally gone. Totally amazing, right? I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel and definitely pass it on and get out for a run, get out for a bike ride, get out and do something active.